I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them and I will be their God, Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for our celebration, let us first seek from the Lord forgiveness for our personal sins. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thought, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you, and of our neighbor. Grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim, when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give, when you can give at once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done no who has done you no harm. Envy not the lowless man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is not abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. The just one shall live in your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue, the just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. 
the just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Please all rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your sh light shine upon before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. And this, my brothers and sisters, is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one who lights a lamp conceals it or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a high place, on a lampstand, so that the light might illumine the whole room. It is useless if we light a lamp and then put it under the bed. It is of no use to anyone, Jesus tells us. If the lamp is placed on a stand, then the lamp will light the way for anyone that comes into that room. They, it, they will be able to pass through the room safely. So in these words of Jesus regarding the lamp, he is telling his listeners and us today that his message, his teaching, and indeed he himself is a light, a light to the world. Jesus himself needs to be proclaimed, placed as it were on the lampstand, that his light and his teaching might illumine all those around it. It is an important part of our life, therefore, on how do we live. Jesus concludes the gospel this morning by telling us, take care, therefore, how you hear. Take care. So when we hear those words, it pushes us back into ourselves to reflect on our own self. And how do I hear the word of Jesus? How do I receive the presence of Jesus in my life? Is Jesus like a lamp set upon a lampstand in my light, in my life? In other words, his presence and his meaning for me is important and it guides my steps. It shows me the way in which I should walk. Is Jesus fulfilling that role 
in our life. A lamp, a, a light that is set on a high place. In other words, it's in a prominent place in our life. So the teaching of Jesus should permeate our life. It is not something that we just leave for some days. And after we have attended our Sunday Mass, then we go on our way. We put the light of Christ perhaps under the bed in our life. We might be ashamed of the word of Jesus. We might be ashamed to be seen as a devotee, a follower of Jesus. And so we hide the light of Jesus. Jesus tells us today, take care how you hear. So each one of us needs to do that and to ask ourselves personally, how do I hear Jesus in my life? If we listen intently to the message of Jesus, if we endeavor to hear the voice of Jesus within our life, then we will deepen our understanding of his message. The more we try to listen, the more we will hear, the more the message will be clearer to us as we pray and open ourselves to that word. If we listen to the word of Jesus and we listen to the person of Jesus, then our life, the way we live, will be transformed. If, however, we do not listen or we listen with only half an ear, we allow instead our thoughts to be occupied with other things, then the light of Jesus and his word becomes dim, it fades. It's no longer a shining brightly in my life. Because over time, because I am very casual in the way I listen to the word of God, it is no longer something burning brightly in my life, guiding my steps, guiding my thoughts, guiding, guiding my interaction with others. It has become dim, and so it does not fulfill its purpose. And we can no longer find the way to the new life which Jesus is offering us. And so he says to us this morning, take care therefore, take care how you hear the word of God. In Jesus' time, many people heard the word of God. And yet at the end, when he was crucified, there were only three, four, or five people who remained faithful to him. Prayer of the Faithful. Let us pray to God, the Father, that the light of his Son, Jesus, may bring hope and salvation to all. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may, like a great shining in the darkness, by their efforts in building a better world, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That leaders of nations may bring rays of hope to those who suffer by giving justice to the oppressed and dignity to every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. 
for all of us, may we never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Jesus in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That the faithful departed may receive perpetual light, happiness, and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who offered Masses to be celebrated in a national shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Help, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. God, our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of others and to be a lamp shining for them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Uh, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, Lord, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, an eternal God. For in goodness you created men and women, and when they were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed them through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray now with confidence the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. <clears throat> Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer now to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called this morning to take and eat. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my, my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed.
season of creation prayer. Creator of all, through the communion of your love and word, and by your holy wisdom, you have created a diverse earth meant to sing a symphony of praises. You have called human beings to be stewards of your good creation. You designed us to listen and learn how to care for our common home. But we have turned towards ourselves and away from our co-creatures. We close our ears to the counsel of our fellow. We fail to listen to the cries and needs of the poor and vulnerable. We silence those who keep us rooted to traditions. We close our hearts to your sustaining word, the scriptures. We lament the loss of those who will never speak again. We grieve lost human creatures, lives, and livelihood. Creation cries out because of our unwillingness to listen. In this season of creation, may you call us as you called Moses from the burning bush. Sustain us in faith with the fire of your spirit. Open our ears to listen to the voices of each creation declaring your glory. Grant us hearts that trust in your presence and promise. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who proclaimed the good news to all creation. Amen. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept, May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Now let us pray. O Lord, graciously raise us up. Raise up those you renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go thanking the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>